Hey everyone, so this is just a quick video update regarding the ENV200 range extender project. This method here has a fail. This is not going to work because it physically does not fit. So that's totally my fault. Uh, when this is in, uh, it would mean that the high voltage cable just could not fit because the structure of the van is in the way. Because I think unlike the Nissan Leaf battery, the ENV200 has got a 45 degree angle on the connector. Uh, which means that it just would, it's just not good to work. But if you have a Nissan Leaf, this solution would work. Um, I've seen a video somewhere, I'll put it in the description, where a s solution very similar to this was used, where it's just the two connectors, and then uh, sort of this splice coming out. But uh, I just made this by... Uh, taking the bars from this connection, shortening them down a bit, uh, removing the internal pins from this. Uh, I had to try and stick screwdrivers and other small pieces of metal, slot small pieces of metal down these little holes at the side to release the pins inside, and then I had to take those out uh, and then solder them to the pins in this after, after I'd removed them, and then I just made up a cardboard mould. Uh, and then cast it in epoxy, but it leaked through this connector, but I was able to clear nearly all of it out. So that's about £150 there, unfortunately, that's gone to waste, uh, which is a real shame, but unfortunately that's just how it goes sometimes. So this is just, I could maybe just sell this on eBay, I don't know. Um, I, I, I think this connector should work no problem. I have really well cleared it out, and it's just a very thin coating and I've obviously cleaned out the pins. So yeah, that's just a fail because it doesn't fit. So I'll show you what I'm going to do instead. So here's the alternative plan. Um, I really did not want to do this, but I had no choice. So what I've done is I've just basically drilled two holes in the lid of the PDM and I've put these I've, uh, sort of tapped them tap threads in it and then put M8 glands in them which are sealed with just grey building silicon uh, well it's, it is proper waterproof silicon uh, which will keep the water out getting this lid off was a nightmare um, but afterwards I just sealed it up with Hylomar blue which is which is used sort of as a gasket replacement it never actually sets so it's really good for this sort of stuff and here's the main connection this is an EV80AZ fuse the same as used in the BMW i3 when the air conditioning well for the air conditioning um, that's on the negative because people just like to put fuses on the negative for some reason and uh, I've just put this plastic sheath on the wire so that when I put this lid on and then I just put the wires over, it's just giving them some extra protection. So I did run a test, I switched the van on with the lid on obviously, because uh, there's a safety switch in there. And I wasn't wanting to just bypass that. Uh, I connected a convection heater up to it and the heater turned on and the van never threw any errors. So I know I can draw power from this, but I don't know if I could feed power back into it or not. So I was going to use the DC stage on my solar inverter to try and feed power back into this but um, I can't do that just now because the battery voltage in the van is sitting at 380 and the inverter output is 380 so um, I'm going to have to try that when the van's uh, pretty deeply discharged. So I'm going to put this lid back on um, and then just put all the bolts in and seal everything up and uh, that should do it but uh, I have ordered sheath plastic sheathing to go over this and I'm going to wrap it in orange insulating tape so that anyone, if anyone else needs to work on this van, they can see that this is clearly high voltage and do not touch it. So safety is really important. So if I ever come to sell the van obviously I could remove all this reasonably easily and all I'll do is just take these out and just put two very short M8 bolts in there and just seal them on and then just, you know, tighten them up with a spanner. And there'll just be two little bolts there, which don't even stick in there. Uh, so yeah, it's looking like it's going to be okay. Um, as for accepted power, I don't know yet. Um, but I reckon it should. <laughs> 